Hey guys, it's the Friction here, or Tiger Tank One Two, having to call me. I don't really care. And welcome back to World of Tanks Daily Deals. This is what this channel has turned into. And um, no, I'm just kidding. We're we're gonna finish this. We're gonna go through every single day, and after that, we're gonna have a little bit of a final verdict if it was worth it. Finally, after four days, no, three days of pretty bad deals. I have two deals that are interesting, at least they're interesting. If they're good or not, we're going to go through that in just a second. So let's take a look. I actually opened the deal before, but because my microphone was not, you know, recording, somehow it didn't make a lot of sense to do that. So the very first one for credits, we actually have two choices, two deals with credits that we can buy, um, is 50 um, consumables, like 25 repair kits, 25 first aid kits. That's not worth it for me because when I play the game, I do get a ton of repair kits and um, first aid kits, large ones. And I usually just sell them because I don't need them when I'm playing this game since I'm not really paying playing extremely um, much with premium consumables. I don't really need it often. The next one I can I can I can safely say that we aren't really interested in. I'm not gonna be spending any real life money on World of Tanks now, at least definitely not right now, because I still am not satisfied with the way that we're giving a dealing with the game. But the very next two are quite interesting. Now I'm kind of confused because I think I have the SU-85i but it wouldn't make any sense that they sell this tank for credits when I already have it in my garage so I'm gonna check afterwards but having the SU-85i this is a tier 5 tank I think or a tier 4 and it used to be one of those super rare collection vehicles or collector vehicles and now they're giving it away for 2 million credits now obviously this is completely nuts paying 2 million credits for basically a tier 4 tank, uh, which is a premium, yes, uh, with a 2D style, 100% crew, and 7 missions for 5 times XP. That's it. Now, this is definitely, monetary-wise, is not a good deal. Yes, it's not a good deal, because this is also a premium tank that will not make you a lot of money. But, as I'm a tank collector, I'm thinking about it if I don't have it already, because... I want to have all the tanks that I can have. Now, I did miss out on the Aufklärungs Panther. But this tank actually is a lot more interesting for me. Just recently, somebody did pick this deal. And I was kind of very unsure about the deal. Because 8,750 gold is a lot of gold. That is a lot of gold that you could be spending on other things. It could be premium time. It could be... Um, getting the premium battle pass or other premium vehicles. Keep in mind, this is a tier 7 premium tank. It used to be extremely fun back in the days, but nowadays I think they actually didn't make it extremely well. Uh, I heard that it isn't the most competitive vehicle. It's a lot of money for um, a tier 7 medium tank, but still, since I'm a tank collector and I wasn't able to pick this up during the black market, I'm actually thinking about it. But I'm not really sure if I should do it. Put it in the comment section below. Do you think I should go for it or not? I think these deals, if you are of sound mind, they are pretty horrible. Um, you know, just by paying that kind of equivalent for a tier 7 premium tank or for a tier 5 or 4 light tank, uh, tank destroyer, that's pretty bad. But since there are really, really rare tanks and collection vehicles... I'm thinking about it. But either way, we're checking back tomorrow. It's finally looking better. So until then, have a good one.